In the past videos of our local GPT, many people faced problems during the installation process of local GPT. Today, we are going to demonstrate the comprehensive installation process and address common errors that may occur during installation. So first, open any web browser and search for local GPT. Open the first link and I will provide all the necessary links and commands in the description for your convenience. Here you will see a button named Code. Click on it. Below, there is an option to download the zip file. Click to download this file. After the downloading process is complete, open your file explorer and locate the zip file. Right click and you will get an option to extract the file. Click on this, tick the checkbox, and afterward, click on Extract. It will start extracting. Now, here is our extracted folder. After this, I simply copy the folder and paste it into another folder name Pro for my convenience. This process just makes it easier to locate the folder from the terminal, and I think I should rename this folder. Let me just shorten the name of the folder. Now it's done. Minimize the window and open your Conda terminal. If you do not have Miniconda installed, install it first. I will provide the video in the description on how to install Conda without errors. So now we are going to use some very basic commands to install our local GPT. First, we use CD desktop, which change our current directory to desktop. Now we use change directory to pro, which means now we are inside our pro folder where our local GPT folder is saved. Now, to go inside our local GPT folder, we use cd local GPT. Use cls command to clear the screen. Now we have to create a separate conda environment for our local GPT. For this use, this command, conda create local GPT Python command, and hit enter. Type we for proceed. This may take some time. After it is done, we have to activate our environment. For this use, conda activate command. Let's go to our next step. Now we have to install some requirement or dependencies. Let me show you what it is. Go to your local GPT folder and open it. Scroll down and you see a file name requirement.txt. Double click to open the file. Here you all the requirement which we were going to install. Go back to your terminal, use dir command to see all the files in directory. And here is our requirement.txt file. To install the requirement file type, pip install requirement.txt and hit enter. This will start installing all the requirement packages or dependencies. It will take time, so be patient. So during the installation of requirement packages, many of you may encounter this error. This error occurs when our system does not have Visual Studio C++ build tools or when we have an older version. Essentially, Visual Studio C++ is a dependency required to install some necessary packages. To resolve this, scroll up and here you will find a link. Click on the link and it will redirect you to Microsoft Build Tools. Click on Download Build Tools. After the downloading is complete, Open the File Explorer and locate the file. Double-click to install the tool. Click on Continue. Now tick the first option of Desktop Development with C++. Afterwards, click on Install. This will take time to download and install packages. After it is done, go back to your terminal and again install the requirements.txt. Now, as you can see, this time, we do not get any kind of error. So this is only the first part. In the next part, we will show you how to run the local GPT without errors. Hope you will like this video and unlock the future with us. Subscribe for more cutting-edge tech insights.